welcome back to Deep, the Dorlach Environmental Enhancement Project. We're out on the Dorlach Firth, heading towards the oyster beds, where we're going to start to lay the, the first reef in over 100 years. In the next few months, 20,000 oysters are going to be down there, living happily in the Dorlach Firth. It's a great day for us, so let's go! So I'm Dr. Bill Sanderson, I'm from Harriet Watt University, and I'm the science director of the DEEP project. So we've done the historical research, we did the survivability study, and now it's time for a much larger deployment into the Dornoch Fir. First we had to work with our partners to find enough European oysters, and then we had to look at the biosecurity aspects. So now we're putting in a much greater number of oysters, uh, ramping up to 20,000 initially, then 200,000 oysters, and then a million a year, until we get to four million. First, we've got to create the habitat that's long been lost. So first thing in the morning at 4 a.m., we loaded the new habitat, the shell material, at Timber Gordon. And then the barge brought the material around to the Dawn of Firth and started to lay the new habitat for the oysters to live on. Whilst that was happening, the actual oysters that had been through an extensive biosecurity process were sorted and taken to another vessel for deployment. Then the dive started. The first is a challenging environment to work in, strong currents, difficult visibility, but we got the shell material down and we got the oysters down onto the habitat. We could even see some of the oysters opening up and starting to adjust their new environment. Science and innovation underpins what DEEP is all about and this is led by the Harriet Watt team. So my research with DEEP allows me to measure calcification, respiration and the filtration of shellfish in real time and getting carbon values for this. And this in itself allows us to value the restoration of a reef. My research with DEEP has tried to understand what makes larvae settle. So that's the babies of the oysters, when they metamorphose to an oyster that will stay in that location permanently. And the main thing we found is that the larvae prefer to settle on their own species. This means that for restoration efforts, um, the larger the oyster population, the more successful settlement will be. Personally, it's fantastic to get the project going here. I mean, um, the partnership is a genuine partnership between Glen Morangy, Harriet Watt and the Marine Conservation Society. And because of that, um, everybody's pulling in the same direction and it really does work. So that's it, another stage complete for Deep. It's been a fantastic team effort with lots of people involved and we're very proud to be pioneering native oyster restoration in Europe.